Now you're in your love respect. It's the thought process, me. You haven't been minding your business within minding your business to reevaluate your thought process. Yo, thought process, you working today? Yeah, it's working. My content ain't for everybody. Now you're in your love respect. Thank you for your time. Entertainment permissions only. It's the thought process for me. You ever roll out at the end of the day? When you come to the conclusion, when you set yourself up for a diet, no, it's the thought process because you always keep saying the next day, tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. When is tomorrow going to happen? No, it's the thought process for me. You ever decided to do something different when it came to your life? You know, lifestyle changes and stuff like that. You know, you decide to go pick up a liquid diet. Something that you never did before in your whole entire life at the end of the day. You know, coming out your comfort zone. It's the thought process, me, when you know, you know, doing something different. So you decide to go explore. What then exploring in, 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 in a dietary world or whatever the case may be to find is liquid. It's the thought process to me. You ever picked up something and you didn't read the instructions, but you said this looks like it's going to be good? How can you say a diet that's going to make you use the bathroom at the end of the day make you feel good at the end of the day? Hold on. It's a liquid format diet. Hello, jackass. Are you okay? It's the thought process for me. You ever realized at the end of the day you saw a drink within seeing a drink and said, Oh, I think I'm going to try something new today. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to take the risk. And recognizing that this flavor that I'm going to try and digest at the end of the day, you know, how it's really going to make me feel. Not by the taste, but how it's mentally going to make me feel after the fact. Once you realize in the day, ah! it was good, all right. I got to go. <laughs> you ever reevaluate your thought process when you're ready to get on a diet? And how mentally strong you are for those first 35 seconds. No, it's the thought process me for the new beginners. Yeah, I got this. <laughs> I was months later. I just kept saying every day, every day, every day. <laughs> it's the thought process for me. When you gonna show up for yourself, Jackass? I wanna be in shape. See, work make the dream work, but you gotta see yourself first. To understand how that work gonna go. <laughs> now, respectfully, you ever realize you got one of those friends who get in the gym every single day faithfully, and they be like, "Hey, <laughs> let's go work out." <laughs> you ever realize that you wasn't ready to start your diet? No, it, it, it's the thought process to me because you know how mentally strong you was for that conversation until it actually happened? No, it's the thought process. I wasn't expecting this today. It's the thought process. Have a nice day somewhere else. I'll see you later. Have fun. Have fun for the both of us. Work out for both of us. It's the thought process to me. Trying to get healthy to remove those unhealthy habits. Trauma and pain was in authority from a child point of view. It was truly your view. Overweight, you put a name in your book when it came to your depression, anxiety, PTSD, sleepless nights. You put a name in your book when it came to your mental health. They labeled you a number. They talked, you like, they talked about you like a bad habit. They wanted you to get discovered, to give up on yourself, to psych yourself out your freedom, your thought process. And it was truly one-sided. Allow you to become a believer, not giving up on yourself, but knowing that you are worthy regardless who gave up on you or overlooked you. There are better days ahead, not to dim your light. Never live in fear, and I say that respectfully. Misery loves company. You didn't have to disturb somebody's peace, let alone disrespect them, but they would truly put you in secret competition. Only to realize that, damn, they learned the lesson. Because you was minding your business to go within. To understand self-control. To understand self-discipline. Loving yourself to better yourself. They wanted you to discover you. Because you chose you to be your authentic self. Something they didn't want to get used to. It's coming out their comfort zone. And realize at the end of the day. They was lost within their own identity. Crying out for help when it came to pain, it was truly one-sided. They saw that at the end of the day, how could you do it, neighbor? 
You overcoming trauma and pain, bettering yourself and meaning what you're saying, what you've been through. It's a thought process to me. How certain folks don't know how to approach you. They be holding a bag at the end of the day, only the ones they shortchange themselves to wow, to gaslight themselves. Only the ones they made themselves uncomfortable. When it came to their drama, they pain at the end of the day, projected it on an innocent person who knew how to respect their neighbor with no pain. All malicious intentions, that energy is different. Always be yourself with no malicious intentions because someone tries to discourage you because they put you in secret competition and only the ones who still showed up for you. My content is not for everyone. It's not. But loving yourself is not a crime, and I say that respectfully. Take it one day at a time because God is allowing you to see another day. They like, dang, now here you go with God and get another day. <laughs> God allowed me to see a YouTube. So we all have in this conversation for all the right reasons. Because <laughs> God chose you. You ain't got to kick somebody down and I said that respectfully to see them frown. Or because you don't want them to elevate faster than you. They was never on your time when it come to demon timing. You worshiping the enemy at the end of the day. Because you was protecting pain and game at the end of the day because someone knew how to show up for themselves that day when God was truly protecting them and you wanted them to become their own worst enemy but God was redirecting them, showing them at the end of the day that they are worthy. How God created a lane for this person when it was supposed to be you or it is you. Just not everybody was able to see them the day. Be patient with your process when it comes to healing trauma and pain. I say that respectfully. Be mindful and wise when choosing yourself to better yourself. And I say that respectfully. It's not a competition when it comes to healing trauma and pain. But always be your authentic self with no malicious intentions. Excuse me. And I say that respectfully. Always be your authentic self with no malicious intentions. My content is not for everyone. And that's okay. Never get discouraged because someone is dealing with insecurity problems, lack of confidence, and they can't recognize a smack because you know how to go within, not to see yourself frown because God's truly shining a light on you, showing you that you are worthy. And you you don't even have a little bit of hate in your blood because you know how to respect your neighbor. Good day, bad day, misunderstanding day. We are all not the same when it comes to your culture, religion, sexual orientation, disability, or age. It'd be the thought process for me. We are all not the same. My content is not for everyone. I am the original owner of all of my content, and I say that respectfully. Always be your authentic self with no malicious intentions. Never give up on yourself because someone gave up on you or overlooked your judgment book by its cover. They made you feel like you wasn't worthy of choosing you. They took your kindness so weak as they disrespected you. And you didn't have malicious intentions. You knew how to respect your neighbor. Good day, bad day, or misunderstanding day. And I say that respectfully. My content is not for everyone. And that's okay. Here's the thought process me. I need a nap. I gotta go. Peace and respect. Some respect to the neighbor. Stop the violence. You many you're worthy. Being a copycat at the end of the day, you're going for a show when it comes to common sense, and that's being real. I said what I said. You can't be somebody you're not. Regardless how much notes you take, actually sitting back, watching someone's true elevation. You can only be yourself, and I say that respectfully. Hope you truly find peace within, to move accordingly, to go within. To heal the whatever wounds that's endowed with you to find your own identity, become your best self, vision of yourself. But you can't be somebody you truly not, and I say that respectfully. It's a thought process for me. God is not for sale, and I say that respectfully. I don't worship the devil. Loving yourself is not a crime. It's funny how they throw spell work at you in a toxic way. You're supposed to be your home worst enemy, let alone destroy your character. But how God works in mysterious ways when God is protecting you, showing you are worthy, wow. I ain't have to go take for tack with you at the end of the day to show at the end of the day who was truly real that day. Here's the thought process for me. Be careful because everybody common sense ain't common sense. And I say that respectfully when it comes to being real. Now you're doing your love respect. Have a good day.